it's Dave Altavilla for Hot Hardware. We're here at Dell World, Dell EMC World 2017, looking at the Dell Canvas in action. It's being powered by this here Dell XPS 15. We talk a lot about three things, really. One is imagining, right? What is that idea in your head? Second is how do we get it into a form that we can see it, so that we can all rally around and begin to build it. And, and the third piece really is around feeling. And so as we are a physical products company, having that tactile sensation of what is going to be in the end game um, really is truly critical. So we like that uh, all of that seems to be rolling up into what you're creating. So here. Sarah is not a Nike designer, but who knows, no. maybe after this demo she will be. Um, a bit of a lot of so Sarah, is always good. Show us a little bit about what this uh, Canvas station can do. Yes, yeah, so this is Canvas, and what it allows people like Ken's design team to do is take advantage of really natural touch and pen-based interactions to draw, to get closer from vision to digital reality in a shorter period of time, which I know helps in your iterative process to get to the final product. Yep. And, and I noticed, I mean, that's not a mouse you're using there. What kind of no, device is that? No, it's not a mouse. We refer to it as a totem. It's part of the Canvas package. What it allows those designers to do, and any user to do, is to have their uh, dominant hand with a pen or a touch-based interaction and be working and then adjust dynamically to uh, basically allow them to stay in the zone of creation. They don't want to have to go to a menu to make a change when they're in that zone. Pretty cool. Yeah. And then I noticed it's, it's dual screen. You know, what? Uh, what's the use of this one? So we, what we find when we shadow designers, and all of this is really influenced by watching people as they go through their workflows and figuring out how we can make them better. We, we know that they often use referential imagery. So you saw it in the video as uh, holograms, but today's version of that is is reference imagery, so that's what you have viewed here on the vertical screen so that the designer can glance up and say, what is that feel that I'm trying to capture, or what is that uh, element that I'm trying to capture in my design, and then go back to the work of interacting. And Ken, this is part of the audience. You know, we, we refer to this really as being hypernatural, right? This is similar to what we've been doing for years, create a sketch, put it out there, put it in a 3D form, bring in performance data. Um, we do it in a very analog way and have the industry.